turns out it's really hard walking the walk as well as just talking the talk of being green, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is very hard, particularly when you've got a 122 show tour across five continents. I think it's going to be very difficult, even for Chris Martin, uh, to achieve a carbon neutral um, tour. Yeah. Global I mean, tour. how are they going to get all of their stage equipment and all of the band on that little boat that uh, Greta Thunberg used to get across to America? Because if you don't want to fly, I mean, how are they going to do that? Well, at least they're trying to talk, uh, you know, walk the walk, not just talk the talk. So, but they are still uh, going to be taking uh, private planes, but they'll use yeah. a more uh, energy efficient source of fuel. So that's one step <laughs> in the right direction. But, just, but, but, but come on, but this is, this is just classic, isn't it? It's like, oh, we all need to worry about this and these things really need to be dealt with and we need to tackle these issues more. But I'm just going to carry on with my life and just because I could afford to get a private plane and maybe have a private plane that's more expensive because it uses this new kind of fuel. I mean... Look, I've got every sympathy. I couldn't care less whether there's a, it's carbon neutral or not. I, I, I was, uh, saw uh, Coldplay uh, uh, at Wembley on their last tour, and I have to say it was an absolutely stonking show. I mean, it really was amazing. And the audience were already very much involved. They, you have wristbands, and you know, you know, your, your wristbands are the light show. Mm. That, that, is, that is the light show for, for the concert, which, which is absolutely brilliant. But isn't this the reality that actually... It's money that is talking at this point. Their last tour, 2016, 2017, they played to, I mean, this is incredible, f almost five and a half million people and they earned more than 380 million pounds. I mean, that is a huge, huge, huge sum of money to forego because you can't make it carbon neutral. Yeah, I mean, I I saw um, Chris Martin and Coldplay at um, Glastonbury one time and they do put She's on- so much cooler than brilliant me. Brilliant <laughs> brilliant show but they had um yeah i'm not sure i'll be going back it wasn't quite my cup of tea but i did enjoy that show um but the uh the led wristbands are actually going to be made from 100 percent compostable plant-based materials which will be reused every night that's what they're saying in their 12.5 oh, now they, they, they right. look they look like they were made of plastic to me and they they did ask for people to give them back but every single person who we saw was quite going i'm not giving that back now they don't work once you take them off they'd only work at the concert but but everyone wanted to keep them as a souvenir so of course people aren't going to give them back you know i think it's great that they're trying this new innovative stuff you know they're getting yeah. people talking about energy which of course we need to uh, be more efficient with our use of i mean we know that from the current issues that we're facing but you know what i think is interesting about this story is that they're already apologizing for the backlash that they think is going to come their yeah. way over their use of flying and you know it's quite interesting because they seem to be preempting the sort of social media mob um you have to be very pure it's sort of there's sort of a sort of old style religious element to this isn't it that yeah. they need to repent their sins before they've even received that backlash yeah but again <laughs> also this this whole offsetting thing offsetting is something that rich people do so you you pay this extra tax I and mean, the airlines just think it's hilarious they can charge people extra to, to have someone plant a tree for you so it's 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 very much this sort of noblesse oblige sort of you know the king wandering through and saying yes peasant plant a tree for me while I get on walk up the steps to my private jet while while we make sure we charge you more to go on your Ryanair flight while you've got your knees banging up against the seat in front it is very I mean I love look I love Chris Martin I love Coldplay and 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 to be fair to them they do actually put their money where their mouth is. They've given huge amounts of money to charity, loads of charity gifts. I think they're really, really good blokes. I, I really, I don't have an issue with them. And I hate that they will face a backlash for this, but I do think it's ridiculous. But, you know, they, they, they want, they want to try and be this sort of the, this, this purity. You know, if you, if you really are worried about this global warming, you shouldn't be on private jets and you shouldn't be having massive big stadium, uh, you know, concerts because apparently we're all supposed to be in, you know, sackcloth and ashes from now on, aren't we, to to save the environment? But I, I love that they're going back on tour. We will be queuing up to get tickets and I'll be loving the concert if I get tickets. And I won't I won't give two hoots who's powering the energy or, or whether a tree is being planted. And I don't think most of their fans will care either. No, I don't think so. But I think, you know, it's quite a good marketing ploy, isn't it? Oh, isn't because it? for a lot of their fans, they'll absolutely love this. You know, jumping up and down and generating electricity. It's it's quite fun. It's quite a good thing to do. I think it's quite nice. But yeah, yeah the BBC have actually done a little bit of a fact check over how green, um, well, how effective their... Uh, 
their uh, plans will be. So, you know, on the kinetic energy, they've said it's unlikely to make that much energy, yes. that many kilowatts per hour. I can't imagine. I, if jump, people jumping up and down, bearing in mind, you're not, they're not going to be doing it for people jumping up and down around the stadium. I'm thinking of Wembley. The people on the pitch are, are, are not the majority of the people in the stadium. I mean, they'll probably do enough jumping up and down to, I don't know, power the, some of the lights in the ladies' loo. But that's about it. But there are other plans as well. Um, they're going to start the tour in March in Costa Rica. Um, and that has one of the highest rates of renewable energy generation in the world. I've been to Costa Rica. It really, really does. They <clears> do <throat> walk the walk there. The concerts will use electricity from batteries fueled by fan power as well as solar energy, recycled cooking oil from local restaurants and, and mains power from 100% renewable sources where available. Yeah, I mean, this is an expensive business, isn't it? it? Is. I wonder how, I mean, it probably took them the full two years to work with various consultants and so on to come up with this idea. And I mean, it's fantastic. What I would say is that I'm sure many smaller bands who don't have the means to do all this, um, you know, won't be able to make their, car their um, you know, their tours carbon neutral in this way. I imagine a lot, a lot of money has gone into this. But, you know, at least they're putting their money where their mouth is. Yeah. And yeah. they're not just bleating on like some certain royals who uh, don't like to do the same so at yes. least they're good in that respect i do i do think that is a that is absolutely a very 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 fair point thank you very much indeed